Welcome to Living Local Santa Barbara. I'm Gail Kivestad, your guide, and we're down here at the Santa Barbara waterfront. And Santa Barbara is one of the best places to go whale watching. November through April, the gray whale of California makes its migration through the Santa Barbara Channel down to the warm water lagoons of Baja, Mexico. And you can go out on the Double Dolphin with the Santa Barbara Sailing Center. You can go on the Condor Express, or you can do your own tours with Captain Jack. Now you're going to meet Charles Vinnick, who's a local, who's part of the board of Heal the Oceans and also the Jean-Michel Cousteau Society and Ocean Futures. And you're going to learn about the Whale Sanctuary Project and how he's planning for whales in their retirement. I'm here with Charles Vinnick and you have spent your whole life involved with the environment and marine animals, haven't you? Now, I've been very privileged. I've gotten to work with the Cousteau family, Jacques Cousteau and Jean-Michel for many years now. I've been friends with Jean-Michel for 40 years. So I've had an opportunity to be all around the world on Calypso and do, do projects that have been remarkably interesting, fun, and hopefully made a difference. And this has all led you to your passion project, which is the Whale Sanctuary Project. Now tell us about that and how you came up with this idea with others to save the animals, the orca and the beluga, that have been part of entertainment? Well, really what the Whale Sanctuary Project is doing is creating the first sanctuary in North America for whales that are in captivity. So we're trying to give them as much of a life in the natural world, in a seaside sanctuary, as we possibly can. And how did you decide that there was a need for their retirement? Where have they been retiring before? Well, there have actually, they've never retired. All of them that are in captive facilities have always stayed their whole lives in a captive facility, entertaining basically for their supper and for our entertainment. So Dr. Lori Marino is the founder of the organization. She's a neuroscientist. So she's been studying the brains of orcas, belugas, and dolphins throughout her professional life. And in those studies, she has looked at the complexity of whale brains and seeing that they're frankly more complex than ours. Now, it's also educational. We'll provide an education center where people can learn about the natural lives of these animals. And also there may be nature trails along the sides where people can see them as they're living in, the, in nature. So in a project like this, we'll teach children and adults about whales and dolphins in the wild from nature rather than from a park. And what have you learned in your 40 plus years doing this? How has your um, attitude and ideas about their lives changed from when you first started diving and seeing them? Well, I think the more time you spend and the chance you get or anyone else gets to see them in the wild, you see how they interact with one another. Wow. And now if you could choose one thing for the Whale Project, what would that be? It would be to Find a site where everyone in the community is excited and wants to have this sanctuary in their community and see it as a benefit, and where people all over the world join us in this exciting and very worthwhile project. Well, thank you for sharing it with us, Charles, because we really appreciate learning about this here in Santa Barbara, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to talk with you. And stay tuned for more Living Local.